feel blessed that I've chosen a career that I enjoy yeah. because I wake up and I get excited. Well, yeah. you live and breathe food. And obviously yeah. in the Australian environment, barbecue is an essential part of all of our eating and our lifestyle, really. How did you get involved with the Everdue Barbecue? Yeah, it was um, 10 years ago. Um, we were setting up the cooking school. There was a big demand to, um, I guess, deliver barbecue programs. And uh, I was looking around and I saw this beautiful sterling Everdure that had just won this Australian Design Award. Mm -hmm. um, I bought it, I used it, it was powerful. And uh, I was hooked and I thought, this is awesome because for me as a chef, we give these babies a bit of a hiding. Yeah, um, I'd we, imagine you would we, actually. We cook more than just six or eight uh, portions. Yeah. And uh, then I approached the company and I said, I love them, let's do some testing. And so they used me to, um, to give these, a, again, a workout and come up with ideas. Because as a chef, we look at it a bit differently to the people at home. Yeah, I, I guess a lot of us might naturally just think it's good to be able to throw on the snags, the chop and the steak. and, and ooh, you know, it's but, but it's more than that, isn't it? It is, it is. And really, barbecuing should be fun. Yep. And it should be easy. And when it gets a bit complicated, uh, people shy away. Um, and, I mean, you're looking pretty healthy, so these are all about healthy cooking as well. Well, can we go and have a look at one over here, actually, and just run us through the actual barbecue itself. And, in fact, sure, we'll get you sure. to jump in here and just give us a bit of a tour around. Because, uh, firstly, we've got the top section, which is what you can initially purchase, but it is on the stand and trolley with your, with your add-on deal there as well. So tell us a bit of an overview about it. Yeah, so um, hooded, which means you can, uh, you can apply this with roasting, braising, baking. Um, or open, so you can do open grilling. Yep. Because it's gas, uh, you're getting more flavour into your foods, mm -hmm. okay? Because the, the vapours from the food get hot uh, and they form a bit of smoke and that stays in there. Hence, only barbecue outdoors. Yeah, good, okay? good tip. And it's also a really quick heat up, which I love with yeah, gas. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's why we've spent a lot of time getting this right. Uh, and uh, and it, I do a lot of cooking for the uh, boating industry. Okay. I, I love it. And uh, so this was designed with that in mind. Uh, so we have um, a die cast aluminium hood, which means it's, it's not going to corrode. Fantastic. It's lightweight, it's strong, mm -hmm. okay, um, and it's very durable. You don't really need to keep this covered. It's a good idea, but with this um, high painted system here, high temperature paint, it works pretty good. Yeah. A lot of uh, area space in there as well. So yeah, you I can could say if you've got eight, ten people around, plenty of space to be able to cook a full meal for everybody. Well, that's right. I can, I can do uh, 12, 15 people out of that. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Now, what plates do we get included with it, bud? Well, it comes with the, the open grill. Yep. And the beautiful thing is you get two pieces that make up the top, not one heavy one. Hence, and you'll see me later on, I'm going to take these off, put them back on. Very easy. Great. Fantastic. Um, so you get the open grill, 15 megajoule burner, which is stainless steel. Again, mm. won't, it won't rust. Long life out of that. Um, you've got these serveries. Now, that's really handy because these here um, extend the barbecue. They actually fold up. Uh, you know, both sides to uh, Make use it up more less compact space. If you want, yep. Yeah, and then these here actually pop off like that as well. And you can put some utensils or anything in there. Well, that's right. You know, your, your vinegars, your oils, your, yep. your napkins. Also, I've actually put um, food in there um, and marinated food in the fridge when I'm ready to cook. I bring it out. You yeah, can that's do that. smart thinking. Yeah, so it's really handy for that. And it's, it's all food grade, heavy duty plastics. That can be washed in the sink, uh, that can go in the, in the, in the dishwasher. Hence, um, yeah, you know. nice and easy clean up as well. Yeah, yeah fantastic. And obviously, having this on now, you don't have to get the stand today, but we have got. I think about a hundred percent of you are grabbing it. That's very handy indeed if you want to have it up at a nice level. But of course, if you've got a bench or some brickwork or some concrete, you could actually put the barbecue on it. And you've also got the thermostat there as well, the temperature control as well. Now, there's a lot of barbecues like this that don't have that. Right. Uh, and the idea with that is, um, when it's exactly at twelve o'clock. Yep. Okay, 12 o'clock. Uh, that is calibrated there at 185, medium cooking. Okay, so that's a... Yeah. Uh, and basically, it's pretty much also uh, pre-assembled for everybody, which is... The process is, when you, when you fire these little Edo Go grills up, you um, open the hood, you turn the, um, the burner on to high, you shut the hood, and you give it 10 minutes to preheat. Okay. Okay? And then open the hood, and you're ready to go. Fantastic. And what we've done there, this one that I've done earlier... Sitting ah, right there look at that. has been, and so, there's a smell of that star anise. That right? is divine. And then what you've got there, you can see that look, nice. Oh, let's have a listen. That's some good crackling. Yeah. And have a look at this. <laughs> there you go. Imagine enjoying <laughs> that on a Saturday <laughs> night. And now, how long did that take again? Sorry, uh, that one there was an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. And the good thing is we're doing two principles of cookery, we're even there's a barbecue, we're braising the bottom yep. and we're roasting the top simultaneously. 
And so with restaurants, because we do this in our, in our cooking schools, you don't get loss of volume. So you don't get loss of profit. Fantastic. More people, more wine, more food. Exactly. Hey, <laughs> smart thinking over here. <laughs> May I? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Excuse fingers. I'm going to do a little platter for the uh, for the viewers. Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. Just the smell of that and the flavours that... Now, I think the crew might just enjoy that a little bit. Is it nice and tender and moist and succulent? It should be. But you can stick around for dinner, <laughs> lunch tomorrow. That is succulent. Look at that. So what was the base of that again, Bart? Would you mind just recapping what you put in as the base? Yeah, sure. So it's blood orange, mm -hmm. apple, red onion, sage, bay leaves, star anise. Mm. And then, you know, that one there is just, just going on. And the thing is, you don't, yeah. you don't have to do anything to this. Once you put it um, in the Edigo grill, just every now and then, um, just top up with a little bit of water uh, because it'll evaporate and that'll just keep it braising beautifully. I want to show you, so that's now roasting and braising, that's fine. Yep. I want to do some gentle grilling. Um, so what I've got here is um, those optional hot plates. Oh, okay, so this is it. Okay, just, fantastic. Yep, and I'm just going to let that, it's, it was on low, but because the hood's down, it heats up very quickly. Um, we're going to use this plate here and that one together to do maybe a dozen fish. Perfect. How's that? Sounds good. Yeah, uh, All right. a dozen fish. And um, so I'll get that prepared over here. I'll let you do that. By the way, they're those plates. If you want to go ahead and pick those up, they are, are available as... You do get the others too that we just showed you a moment ago, which is your open grill style. But of course, if you want to do things like some eggs, uh, you want to do pancakes, anything like that, where you need the flat plate, they're reversible. So you only need one. We're showing you each side there, which you can see. So 59.50. We'll give you the opportunity to grab one of those. So it is quite flexible, I mean, it's sort of quite universal in a sense and, and gives you a little bit of an opportunity to go ahead and uh, add that to your order if you'd like to. So, but let's join you over here for the preparation of yes. the fish. What, what, where do we start? So um, this fish that I've got um, is um, sand whiting. Mm. Very tiny, but that's the test of these plates. Can I cook it so it's succulent, nicely coloured? And uh, these recipes are on the website. In here I've got two eggs. And I'm zesting a small lemon, okay? Yep. Use about half of that. And to that, a few salt flakes, some pepper. I love cooking this way. This is one, one of my favourite dishes. Let's look at the barbecue and what's necessary for the preparation. Please. So the barbie, uh, this one here, flat plate and the, the ribbed griddle. Uh, I've got that sitting now on low. And I, as a chef, I just know the heat of that. It's probably about 185 on the plate. Is that a tip, a good tip for cooking fish and getting it just bring that heat back a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Fish is, uh, it's a delicate protein. Yes. And, and it, uh, it cooks very quickly, so you need control. Yeah. Um, and this is the good thing about this. You can crank it up on high, put some crispy skin salmon on there and get the skin really crisp, shut the hood for about a minute and it's done. Yeah, great. Without okay. even turning it. Yeah. But, so that's easy. But this here... Uh, is the secret. So what I use is a cotton cloth, uh -huh. so every chef has that, and I'm not using olive oil, I'm just using grapeseed oil, which is a really nice oil for, for dressings. Okay. And all I do is pour on a little bit on the plate <coughs> and just um, give that a nice little seasoning. I mean, these are brand new, so um, the more you use them, the better, better they, they get. get. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, and then I'm going to do this side here. So just a little cotton cloth and just dampen that and work a little bit of that grapeseed oil in there as well. That's a good tip. I think yep. I'll use that next time doing a barbie. Yeah, no, that's fish. it. And so with the, with the fish, I'm, look, I'm a chef and I use my fingers, Good. Uh, but I wash them all the time. Of course. <laughs> Most important thing is with this here is always cook, if it's a small fillet, the flesh side first, not the skin side. Why is that? Because it'll turn up otherwise and, and go like a horseshoe and you won't get a flat fillet. Okay, a flat so fillet. a little hint, if it's a sardine or garfish, same thing. So look, look for that and I'm going to start there, just pop that on. The skin up. So skin up. And that's a fairly low heat. What did you say about 130 now? Uh, no, it's, it was on 180. 180. 185. Yep. Okay. Um, however, it'll cool slightly with uh, the cold chilled fish. And of course, when you're cooking with gas, um, cooking. what are the benefits of, of cooking with gas while we're doing this? Speed. Speed. Speed and control. That's it. Yep. Now, what I'm going to do now um, is turn off the heat completely. Yep. I mean, they'll, they'll keep warm for quite a while. Give that 30 more seconds and they're done. So how do you know when they're done? You feel it. Oh. So if it's slightly springy, yep. if the fish is cooked. For some reason, people sort of worry about cooking fish, and I can just feel it sort of sizzling underneath it. They're done. Okay, so um, people are scared they're going to serve the fish they cook under, so they overcook it, which is wrong. You don't want to be stuck in the kitchen every meal, right? You want to be out in your balcony, you'll be outside, enjoying the great outdoors. And barbecuing, of course, Australia, we're famous for it. And this is 
probably one of the most affordable ways to get yourself a quality barbecue in your home. Where do you want to go next? Let's do hams. That's one big... <laughs> that's a big ham. That is 4.7 kilos uh, of seriously good smoked ham. This is a perfect size for the eat go grills. And um, I've just made some score marks with a Stanley knife again. One so centimetre. So it's even? Deep. Yep. Love that. And Tip. then I put some cloves in each piece. And see that little container there with the brush? Can I grab you that? That is the secret ingredient. Ah. That's the glaze. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go, sir. There we go. So, again, you can choose one of these trays, because you need to bake it in something in the Edigo grills. I put in there a small little uh, resting rack. Yep. Which goes in. By the way, 50 now remaining for our launch show. 50 to go and they're all gone. 50 to go. Yeah, they're popular. <laughs> and then this here, there are many ways of making a great glaze for ham. This one's on your website, I'll put it there. And this is um, brown sugar, Yep. mandarin marmalade, mm. mustard, Yum. the juice and zest of one orange, and about a cup of water. You bring it to the boil, and look at this. Ooh. All right? So all yeah. you do, you just brush this little bad boy over. Look at that. You can click on the Everdure uh, icon on our website, get all of the recipes that you're seeing today, but you need to get the barbecue so you can go and enjoy them. There we are. And we just shut this little baby up. Ooh, ooh goodness me. And now, again, doing? I know we get questions on the recipes. Everything you're seeing here today are online. So, uh, but just make sure you get your Everdure because that's going to make it really, really easy. And again, that was, how big a weight was it again? 4.7. 4.7 kilo. And ooh. because of the high hood, there's other barbecues that you can't do that because the hood will touch it. This one here, you can go to 16 centimetres from the cooking surface up. Up to 16 centimetres in yep. height, okay. And basically, if it gets too dark, you've got too much heat, turn it down, or you can actually cover with a bit of alfoil to slow up the darker bits while the rest catch up. Looks delicious. All right, so I'm just going to throw it on there. With, Looks um, delicious. Can you imagine serving this up Christmas Day? Oh, my well, goodness me. It's, it's going to be a treat. <laughs> An there's absolute a, treat. So there's some ideas as well to, uh, to use. So... Um, I, uh, I'm just going to leave those clothes on because... It's That'll just stay with a bit of flavour there if you yeah, manage no. to get a little bit of the skin on the outside there. Because, because they're actually whole, uh, that works absolutely fine. So nice carving knife. Beautiful. And My then, goodness me. I mean, we love the ham because it'll last, you know, you look after it, they'll last you know, five or six weeks yeah. under refrigeration. And refrigeration, sandwiches. airtight container, you're yeah. good to go. How often do you use it uh, during the week? How, uh, twice a week, for, at least for fish? I probably use that four times a week. Is that right? Yeah. I've got a few other models, but this one is so quick. Um, and for cleaning, so we haven't talked about cleaning yet. Yeah. Right? How, uh, uh, what, what's the tip? Do what? you clean? Yeah, uh, all, the, all the time. I don't even have a dishwasher, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <Are you>, uh, <laughs> there's this rule that I have, and that is he or she that cooks in the barbie cleans the barbie. Yeah, because I agree. Really, if you're cooking, you can scrape little bits and pieces away. So, look, to recap, uh, from the beginning of the show, we've done the pork belly. We've done the fish, we've done the ham. Of course, you can do your snags, you can do your, uh, your chops, you can do your steaks, you can do your chicken, you can do lamb, you can do everything you would ever do. You can do your veggies as well. We're going to do crepes. You can be multitasking on here as well. Uh, you can smoke on here too, which are fantastic. Uh, there's the pork belly earlier. That was a standout, an absolute delicious dish, and that will be enjoyed. The whole fish looks like a snapper there, done uh, on the Everdure beautifully. And when it comes to fish, of course, oh, by the way, even pizza as well. If you've got the stone that you can go and pop on there too, that will be a, uh, a fantastic summer delight. But let's come back. By the way, look how much you can fit on that uh, Everdure with that shot. Now, Bart, I've got one final question while you're uh, showing this and, and, and plating it up for us. Why buy the Everdure? What's your, <coughs> what's your personal advice on that one? Well, it's just, it's a great machine that... Um, is suited for Australian conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, the way it's made, the construction is fantastic. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it's easy to use and it's reliable. Yeah, and I uh, think with, with, with all of us out there enjoying the summer months, uh, no better way to do it than with Everdure. We had the fish. The fish. Also that beautiful Glazed ham. ham. Was absolutely stunning. Pork belly. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> yes. That is going to be an absolute delight. There's your pork belly. And last but not least, those delicious pancakes. Maybe next time we'll go ahead and do the steak. I you think reckon? so, next time. Happy right. January. An absolute pleasure having you at TVSN. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Peter. Oh, Fantastic. absolute delight. Hey, listen, don't miss out on your Everture. Of course, stick around. More shopping after the break with Oil of Morocco and Miss Moisey after the break. Bye for now.